I'll tell you what the problem was. There was like a setup, okay, that was done. And people thought that I was getting money from Norm. Jill told me this whole thing happened, okay? Jill was on the phone with, um, I'm just going to tell you, she was on the phone with Cindy Lopez. And Cindy Lopez hits me up for money out of the blue at Christmas time for, I, I guess, for a pack of cigarettes. At the time, I didn't even have cigarettes. I'm paying for lot rent here. I'm paying for rent at my winter place. I'm sick as a fucking dog. And I didn't have the money. So Cindy Lopez says to me, uh, what, what about Pac? You know, she's like, who's got all the, who's got the money? Who's got the bucks? You know how Pac, Tupac's always saying he's got the, he's got the, the big bucks. And I got so mad that somebody, why would you think that I know who has all the money? Like I had had it at that point. So I, I told her that, that I said, I said, I don't know. Why are you asking me who has all the money or whatever? And I said, you're going to ask Tupac, do you even know him well enough like that? I said, that, I told her it was gross. I called her gross. At least I didn't talk behind her back. Said it right to her fucking face. Well, the next thing I know, she is on the phone with Jill. The whole time she's messaging me. And it was a test to see if I was getting money from Norm, if I would share it. Norm's been broke for a long ass time, people. Um, so anyway, when I, so Jill went on G Mangoes and everybody knows this. And then Cindy Lopez's son gets up there and is trash talking me. When I was there for him, when she had a stroke and I talked to him, I never did anything wrong to that guy. I never did anything wrong to Cindy. So when Cindy was hounding me for that money, I said to her, Cindy, I did a fucking fundraiser for you since when your house was in foreclosure and you made thousands of dollars. You never even thanked anybody. I told her she was gross. I did. I'm sorry I said that. It was kind of rude, but I was not in the mood. I find out that this is just a setup to see if I'm going to share Norm's money. What the fuck? So then I get a message from Bergs that says, oh, Jill and Cindy are on Mango's platform dragging you for filth. It's hilarious. You're such a, you're so, you're such a cheap cunt. I still have this message too. You're such a cheap cunt. You couldn't buy her a fucking pack of cigarettes. That's what he said to me. So me and Jill were in a huge fight over that. And I probably would have been, she, she did apologize to me and I accepted it, but it was hard to trust somebody after that. So I wasn't really talking to her when she was really sick. And I feel very guilty about that. Anyway, I was devastated when she passed away, but, um, so, I mean, I, they, I was so disenchanted by her admitting to me that they were setting, feeling me out to see if I was, if I was going to share money that I supposedly got from Norm that I never even got to begin with at the time. I didn't even have cigarettes. So they go, so, so they don't even, I say that shit privately, not publicly to Cindy. I tell her that's gross that you want to find out who has the big bucks. You're asking me to tell you who to go get money from. I don't, what makes you think I know? And then Jill get, and then. She says, oh, I'm on the phone with Jill. I just told her everything. Like, th these are supposed to be my friends, you guys. My friends. My good friends. And then they go on mangoes and say the nastiest fucking shit about me. Drag me. I'm in the hospital. So I'm going to tell you something. I'll, I'll never forgive Lopez for, for me being at odds with Jill. And then she died. I hope your pack of cigarettes was worth it. I hope getting up on mango, and then then you start texting me like nothing happened. Oh, I I uh, people have been asking me about, and I, I have all these receipts. People have been asking me about if you're in the hospital or not, but that's your story to tell. I don't I don't have a story to tell. I don't have to tell anybody if I'm in the fucking hospital, Cindy. And it's certainly none of your fucking business. I'll never trust you again.